Once I found drugs, I didn't need to say anything else to feel more important because the drugs made me feel like that. Um, I didn't have the level of consciousness where I could say like, hey, this is a lifelong problem. We all played Russian roulette and I got the bullet. That's the beginning of the end for me with, with heroin, like, because that was a, a downward spiral for me. Everything gets out of control and this house of cards that I had built up started to fall. I just wanted to die. Like I spent every cent I had on dope. I had a lot of really nice jewelry that my grandmother got me every year and I pawned it all. So I have nothing left of that. I think you would kill somebody for drugs. Like, I think it gets that crazy. I started drinking and then everything else just sort of snowballed because nothing I did was ever enough. I'm medicating myself to be okay, to be able to feel like I'm doing something in society, to maintain my job. Spiritually and emotionally bankrupt, miserable, like, a soulless, hollow shell of a person. Like, active addiction, it was always about chasing that first high. And, and it was fun for a long time, but then um, it stopped being fun. Stupidest thing I could do, like I could have died right then and there. And It's crazy because you don't think about it. You don't really care if you live or die at that point. I'm sitting in an apartment with no utilities, with a needle in my arm, not knowing how I got there. Taking showers in a sink in a McDonald's bathroom, you know, <laughs> just a disgusting, ruthless way to live, and I conceded to the fact that that's how it was going to be. I had a baby, um, and that wasn't enough to make me stop. My, my parents had to kick me out of their house. I was living underneath a pine tree right before I got clean. I had abscesses all over my arms. I was bruised. Um, I, had to, I was shooting cocaine, um, so I was shooting it through veins in my feet, too. I could barely walk. I, when my grandfather was on life support, I got high in the bathroom while they were unplugging him. Like, it was disgusting. I hope to never have that experience again. We're in a crazy epidemic right now, and they're not being taught anything about it. No one is. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah, there's a lot of hope in recovery. Uh, you know, I hear people say that, you know, this person made a choice to use heroin or put a needle in my arm and it, it doesn't feel like that's what it was for me.